Here's another shot of horse pose in progress, of course, um, but it is more from the front so you can see the placement of the foot and how things come down. So let's give it a whirl. So we'll start in the half lotus, so bringing the heel up and into the hip. And we want to come open comfortably and then lengthening up and reaching up forward folding to bring the hands down and then we will bring the left knee down so very lightly and then remember we bring the foot away from the heel uh, the heel away from the knee so we can build stability first in the pose and then externally rotating the thigh of the front leg and then lifting up so as always, we wanna get into more of a neutral pelvis. So to do that, we've gotta lift up. So taking a big stretch up with the arms and then taking the arms into Garudasana. And then releasing and coming down and letting go. Now eventually, you'll take that through a sound salutation. You'll start in the standing half lotus and then go through plank or chaturanga, upward facing dog down dog and then hopping up and coming into the balance and squat you know, finding what we just did so i think you really need to pay attention first to the standing half lotus use the balance as a, a watermark for where your progress is and when you're really comfortable in the standing half lotus then try the forward fold and coming down into the pose the horse pose and then um, when you become comfortable with that when you feel like you've got that lift you've got that stability you're gonna bring the strength back in by taking it back into plank or chaturanga. You can walk it back or you can float it back and um, going through the whole sun salutation. So there will be more as we progress, but this will give you something to work on. Again, it's not for people with knee issues, low back issues or hip issues. It will come in time, but you have other things you can do to open your hips a little more gently. Have a great day.